Well, it's time for a little bit of Ducati love. G'day everybody, welcome back uh, with Basket Case up on the healing bench. Um, we're working on the floor, but this job hopefully won't be too bad. Um, clutch, clutch slave cylinder failed. Well, failed. It's leaking. I'm losing fluid. So um, they weren't long for this world, these particular slave cylinders. You can buy aftermarket replacement units. Um, quite flash looking billet, aluminium, anodized, red, whatever colour you want. Um, but they're quite expensive, they're nearly 300 Australian doll hairs. So I'm going to throw a kit in this for about 70 Australian doll hairs. Um, I could probably work in around the fairing, but um, at the risk of getting brake fluid spilled on the paintwork, I think I'll err on the side of caution. So I'll pull the fairing off and we'll get stuck in. All right, working on the floor on paddock stairs, my favourite thing to do. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> All right, so uh, not much going on here. We've got three retaining bolts and one banjo fitting. Um, I might actually, this is the old original rubber lines, I might actually put a crimp on that um, just to save whatever fluid I can um, before I remove the banjo fitting. I kind of really need to uh, fit some new brake and clutch lines to this bike because they're, they're old. Actually, the original units, as far as I'm aware, something to mop that with. Be a bit challenging with the light today. It's um, yesterday was the hottest March day on record for Hobart, it was over 40 degrees Celsius, and today it's about 29 apparently. It's going to get to, um, but there's showers about and a lot of cloud cover, so the light is going to be challenging in here today. All right, so banjo fitting done. Let's just remove these three bolts. Socket head cap screws. And there she is in all her leaky glory. Uh, there's also a gator here. I'll just pop that cover off. Mm. I need to replace that and I don't have a new one but I will order one. the opportunity to have a little bit of a clean in there, I'm not going to go stupid. All right, let's get, uh, let's get this over to the bench and pull that piston out and have a look. Like I said, the light's going to be a challenge today, hopefully uh, it's not too horrible. Here's our clutch cylinder, so we have a piston assembly with a spring. And it um, has failed. So I'll just give this a bit of a clean. Um, we'll have a bit of a look at the bore, see if everything in there is okay. And um, put a new one in. So I've got a, a new one from Gownlock to Caddy. 
I guess it's worth mentioning that if uh, yours doesn't come out so easily, you um, can always pump it out with hydraulics. Should be wearing gloves. Right, channel my best Ed China with orange gloves. Uh, you really want to watch me clean something? I think the light's going to kill it. I'll just uh, I'll just go my hardest and show you the end result. Clean as a whistle. Well, I mean it's it's pretty good. Uh, there are some water stains in there. Oh, oh, sorry, there is some staining in the in the um, bore, but there's no steps or big holes or anything. So we're golden there. Okay, one kit. That's something else. That's something else. One spring, one piston. A little bit annoyed at Gowan Lock because uh, the, when I spoke to the lady on the phone, she was looking at a microfish and she said there's a piston assembly and there's a spring. Um, you have to order them separately, but the piston kit came with a spring, so now I have two. It was eight dollars or something that spring. All right, pop them together. Uh, one of the best lubricants you can use for a brake system is, funnily enough, brake fluid. Uh, but also Bosch rubber grease is specifically formulated for use in braking systems. So I don't have any qualms using that either. That's why they give you two springs. <laughs> okay. You can go onto here. Um, put a bit of me a bit of grease on that. Try and feed it down. A bit of lick in there. Try and feed it down in. Don't think that'll be too hard. Nope, there it is. All right, easy peasy, Japanesey. Toss it back on the bike. Bleed it out. Oh no, there's one other little job I want to do before I do that. I didn't have new copper washers, they're now annealed. Uh, annealing copper is the exact opposite of annealing um, ferrous metals like iron, steel. Uh, you heat it up to red hot and quench it and then it's, it's annealed. It's ready to go and be used again. Definitely need to buy a new one of those. How does it fit on? Not quite sure what goes on there. Let's just uh, sit him in how he was. I really have no problem undoing well, once I've broken the bond, I have no trouble undoing um, fasteners with power tools. But when you're doing them up, you kind of need to feel what's going on. So sometimes you need to do it by hand. This is one of those times. Oh dear. Take our banjo fitting and our freshly annealed copper washers. Ok, 
Right. Reasonably confident I'm going to get a comment from Moto Minx on this one. Something to do with the state of the sprocket cover and the muck behind it and my lack of attention to detail and cleaning. <laughs> Sorry mate. Ridden, not hidden. All right, let's bleed him out. Zoom, oh, I'll be eight mil. And I should be using a hose and doing it all responsibly, but it was the same as I do. There you go, that just about hit my fuel tank. Uh, it feels pretty good now. Still looks a little bit aerated, but uh, not too bad. Give that a run. So, one of the things, one of the tricks you can do to um, make sure that you extract all of the oil out of the system is pull the lever back against the grip and tape it there or put a cable tie around it and leave it overnight uh, and that holds the system under pressure so that forces all the bubbles right to the very very top and then when you release it the next morning those bubbles uh, will come back in through the vent port into the reservoir uh, thus fully evacuating all the air out of the system. There we go. <sighs> yeah. Well, that's one job on the Ducati out of the way. Uh, I have got a couple of little jobs uh, that need to be doing on this bike. Um, little jobs. I need to pull the cylinder heads off. <laughs> but, as well as a couple of other jobs. But since I sold the Honda, basket case is on the healing bench. This is the only thing I've got to ride at the moment, so I just want to keep it going. I do love it. I do love it. But uh, yeah, well hopefully our little thimble full of oil won't keep coming down again. Um, new piston, about, I think it was about 80 bucks um, Australian for that kit, um, which is not too bad, I suppose, um, considering the alternative, which is a you know two or three hundred dollar aftermarket cylinder. Uh, apparently, those aftermarket cylinders though go forever. So anyway. That'll do me for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I'll catch you next time on Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions. Bye for now.